Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tash Teaches. I'm Tash and today I want to teach you how to make an 808 type clap using the grid in Bitwig. I've got three 808 claps here. And if we look at the waveform zoomed in we can see that they all have something quite similar about them and that is having a few small transients they all seem to have three in fact, followed by then one larger and fatter body of a transient. How would we go about making this in the grid? So first of all I'm going to load up a new instance of the polygrid and let's open up this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take a noise module because this will allow me to create the the main tonality of a clap. If I'm to play it now, we have something that's not too far off with a little bit of work. And I'm going to take this envelope and I'm going to shorten the attack and bring the decay down until we get some sort of nice, some sort of little knocky sound. Okay, that's a good starting point. So maybe around, around 90. Oh, let's bring it back down again. Okay, cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this envelope. If we look back at the clap here, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Seems this last bit, we could, we could call it five. There are five parts to the clap. So I'm going to duplicate this until we have five instances of it. I'm then going to send the noise to all of these envelopes. Ooh. And so I can play this on my keyboard, I'm also going to take a gate in and I'm going to turn off the gate precord. And that will mean that we can then at least control the gate signal. So if I press now, nothing will happen until I then reconnect the gate in. And we now have exactly what we had before, but with the possibility of modifying this gate signal. So I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to attach this to a mixer. So we have two pieces now. Now, if we go back and look again at the clap, we can see that the reason why this clap sounds that way, that is because we have that little flam at the beginning, the k -k -k. If we were to listen to it slowly, it would be k -k -k -k. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this first envelope, I'll remove that for a sec, this first little envelope here will be that first transient. And the second one we want to have happen a few milliseconds after. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a delay module and I'm going to put that just before the gate in. If I bring this back in again and I start to dial up this delay. Ooh, we're starting to get a nice little flam there. So I'm going to take another delay and put that before the next one. And let's attach that to the mixer as well. And let's try maybe 50 or so. Okay, sounding quite good. Now let's add one more. Attach this to the mixer. And let's put this around 70 maybe. Okay, so I, I can tell now that I probably want to bring back the decay on some of these guys. Now this last one if we look again, we have this longer body part. So it stands to reason that what we're going to want for this one is a slightly different envelope. And I'm going to change this out with an ADSR, as you'll be able to see why in a second. And if we add one more delay module, and this one we can sort of keep around the same delay as we had here, because there seems to be some sort of flamming happen between that last transient and the body one. So I'll put this to about maybe 75. Now let's listen to what we've got here bring up that decay a bit. Okay, that's sounding a bit better. But I think you'll agree that it doesn't quite have the the tonality of those claps there. So, what we need to do next is we're going to add a filter. I'm going to use the XP filter and attach it after the mixer. And then I'm then going to go to Let's try band pass 2 first. I'm going to bring the resonance down to begin with. And there's two routes you could take here now. One of them is to be able to have 
a pitchable clap, or one is to sort of pick the sound. So first of all, I'm going to show you what it's like if you just pick the sound. So I'm going to bring this um, pitch, what do they call it? A key tracking on the filter all the way down so we won't get any. And now if I play a note and we slide through the filter, we start to get something a little more clap-like. We can bring that resonance up a bit. We can also boost the volume, bring that decay down a bit. And the other alternative is to put this back to whatever you had it on. And what's quite nice there is it means that you will be able to pick a, pick a spot on here and then you'll be able to play it up and down the keyboard. It doesn't really matter where you put this, you'll just have to move up and down the keyboard more. So now we have something a little closer, we can start to fine-tune these delays. And if we draw in a note quickly, where are we? Got a C5 there. Let's bounce this and have a look to see. Ah, oh, okay. So we can see that the reason we haven't quite got that sound yet is because we've got a little bit too much space on these envelopes. So let's go back in again, and we want to get this uh, sounding a little bit tighter. So I'm going to try 10 milliseconds, 20, 30, and let's do 35, and let's see what that sounds like. Okay, definitely sounding better, but what we want to do now is I'm going to mute this, this body part, and let's just have a little play with these decay envelopes. I think we can go a little bit higher here. Let's bring the body back in. Let's see what that sounds like now. Where are we? C5 again. Okay, so we're starting to get a lot closer to the sound, but we can see here that we need for the first transients to be a bit more defined. So let's go back in again and make these nice and short. Let's try maybe even just 30, keep that real short. And the body seems to be okay. We could bring that back a tiny bit perhaps, bring it to... So let's see what this looks like. If we get all of these down, Okay, nice. So let's draw another C5 in. Okay, that's looking a lot better. We could probably shorten that first one a bit again. Very nice. And there you have it, an 808 style clap. So let's have a look what else we could do to modify the sound of that. We could change the band pass to a band pass 4. And in fact, let's go back to having the key tracking off so we can just find the right spot for it. We could also then try and duplicate this XP filter and instead of then sending the the base uh, the, the body to the same mixer we can affect that slightly differently so we'll bring the volume down here again that sounds quite nice having higher frequencies coming through on the top, but then the body being a bit lower. We could also try and use this uh, envelope to bring the filter up a bit at the beginning. 
Ooh, that's quite good. Another thing that we could do is we could attach a trigger and let's bring the gate into the trigger and a dice. Do three of those maybe and a modulator out. Three of those. And let's attach the trigger to all three of these dices. And what this will allow us to do is to add the tiniest bit of variation. So I'm going to go up just a very small amount, 0 0.01. Let's do 0 0.01 there as well. Let's see what that sounds like. This is going to assign a, a randomized delay every time. We could maybe even bring this up a little bit more. Let's assign this to... Try two seven. We could try the band pass two for the top part. Quite nice. Maybe we add a little bit of distortion. Oh, I like that. So let's see what that looks like when we draw it in. Okay, so we've got quite a long tail on there. What we could do is bring the release down on here a bit. We don't need that to go quite so long. Very nice, let's try that again. I think for some reason, if we make this a little longer, uh, no, it's not massively changing it, but there we go. We've got a nice, nice homemade clap. And I hope this has been helpful. As always, uh, happy Monday and happy creating, and I shall see you next time. Ciao, ciao.